Hey dude, Thub here. I got a story for you. Hold on, let me get changed and I'll tell you what happened this morning. Okay, we're good. So this is a slightly different format than my videos normally come out because I thought I was charging the camera last night and apparently I wasn't, so I didn't have any power, so I barely got any footage. But I still wanted to share this with you guys. If you want to see lots of great dumpster diving finds, I'll link Bearded Diver's channel below because he's got a great route and he finds tons of great stuff. So, I'm out there this morning. It's wicked cold, like colder than it has been all winter. Minus 25, not including a wind chill. The wind was chilly. Okay, so minor but relevant detail. When I'm setting up to go pick some bottles, I'll park my car at the entrance to an alley, and then I'll walk all the way through that alley as far as it can go. When it ends, I'll turn and come back through the next alley over, and that means I end real close to my car, and I can take my full bag of bottles, drop it in, and then move a little further down, or whatever. It's simple, it works for me, it's great. So it's a pretty normal day, all things considered. I've almost completed my little U-shaped route. I filled up a bag of bottles all crushed down and I stashed them somewhere, you know, hidden pretty well so I can come get them later. And all along the way, I've left these little piles of glass bottles so I can pick them up on the way back. It's simple, it works for me. I'm working on my second bag and it's about half full. I find in a bin a bag tied shut completely full of bottles, so I'm pretty excited about that. I'm almost done my route, so I figure Rather than crush them down, I'll just carry them with me. Then I find a second one, a different bin, but another bag of bottles, completely full, and tied shut. So I grab that, I'm feeling pretty good. I've got these two bags, I've got my crush bag, and then I see another bag in front of somebody's bin. So I put the two tied up ones that I've got and nestle them right beside there. Looks like a fantastic little treasure trove, and I'm real excited to come back and grab those. My car's just around the corner, so I leave those, hop around in my car, not a minute later, I drive back around, and there's this big red truck slowly driving through the alley, and my bottles are gone. I look in the back of the truck, and he's got a pile of bags of bottles. I'm like, hey now, those were for me. I was on my way back. You don't get to just take those. I know you thought you found a little treasure trove that was your lucky day, but sorry bud, that's mine. So I honk at him, and he doesn't stop at all. I assume, hey, he probably didn't hear me, he's got the radio on or something like that, so he'll have to slow down at the next road. I'll just catch up with him then. So the next road's coming up, I'm right behind him and I just start hammering on the horn because I want to make damn sure he hears me. He doesn't slow down at all, but he definitely heard me. He knew I was there and I'm getting the impression he knows why I'm honking. So I pump the brakes and I hop out of my car and I run up to his driver's side window. I'm like, yo buddy, you took my bottles. And he gives me one of these. So I explain the situation to him. I tell him, look buddy, I got up bright and early. I've been walking around all morning collecting those. I stashed them there, popped around the corner, was coming right back to grab them. He looks at me and says, too bad. Give it another shot. I tell him, look, I'll just take half of them and we can both move on, everything's cool. He shakes his head, shuts the door, speeds off. So I'm thinking about it a lot as I'm slowly retracing my route, picking up my little piles of bottles thinking I got hosed. Feeling like a loser. I did get hosed. Now if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll probably know that if I was in his situation, I totally would have said, sure, yeah, just take half of them. Next time, keep an eye on your stash. But not this guy. This guy's only interested in one person's well-being. Then I realize the version of me that I want to be for the rest of my life would not put up with that garbage. Wouldn't just let that slide. Wouldn't just let him take off like that. But I'm thinking it's too late, isn't it? Maybe not. I decide to go see if I can find him. And wouldn't you know it, I'm not even looking very long, and he pops out of an alley right in front of me. So I'm tailing him for a little while, just to see what he's up to. And he turns into the next alley. And I keep driving, and I see him drive by. And I take the next left, and I book it up the road and park right in front of the road so I can look up to the side and I see him pop out of the alley, bump down, and pop into the next one. I'm like, oh, 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 it's go time. So I punch it, get to the end of that street as fast as I possibly can, park the car, hop out, lock it, and I run over to the entrance to the alley. There's a perfect little fence there. So I'm leaning up against the fence and I peek around and I can see his big dumb truck on his way. So I'm waiting there and I'm getting really excited. And I really wish I got this on film. 
I can hear him slowly approaching, and I stand there so that when he does pop around the corner, I can look him straight in the face, because I want him to know he didn't get away with that garbage. <laughs> garbage. I love garbage. But he's not even looking. He's looking... I don't know. Wasn't even looking for traffic. He didn't notice me there anyway. So I'm like, whatever, I'm gonna ninja it. I don't even care. Run around to the back of his truck, hop up, and I just start going ham. Like, you know what, buddy? You do that to me, people do that to you. I don't even care. Get wrecked, scrub. You had your chance. I tried to talk you. Was it right? Was it just? Hell yeah! That guy can get boned! And he didn't even notice I was there. I was really hoping he would. Because I was really hoping to, he could see me standing there with his pile of bottles just going. It would have been better if I'd been a little more immediate with my response. But it feels good to follow up and do something. You can't just let people take advantage of you. So that's how that went. I kept going for about another hour. Did pretty alright, filled up my car, made some good coin. And you know what? I earned every penny of it. In the future though, I'm gonna make sure I've got my camera properly charged up because it would have been really cool to get all that on film. It's probably the most interesting thing that's happened to me so far. Dumpster diving slash bottle picking. If you enjoyed this story, if you think I did the right thing, or if you wish you would have been there, let me know, comment, or like it. If you think this was a total dick move and uh, I was completely in the wrong, that sucks. Either way, I uh, hope you enjoyed it and I'll have a lot more dumpster diving, a lot more action coming soon. Thanks as always. Until the next one, guys, keep doing the thing.